various costs of attendance at every school. But the, comp the basic components of cost of attendance are, should be the same. Mm -hmm. Like, um, for example, providing a laptop computer for an athlete, or number of trips that you provide home for an athlete. So I think that if we can define those, the more things that we can de define and all agree upon, um, I think it'll, it would narrow the scope of that cost of attendance number down, so there wouldn't be such a great difference between schools. What's your number roughly going to be? Oh, it's like 3,100. Okay. Joe, the, the proposal on the table from Auburn to, to count state-based aid against scholarship limits, limits for baseball and softball, does that have any legs? Because that, that would really hurt schools like LSU. I don't think it has any legs, but we'll have to see when the final vote comes in. Were you kind of stunned by that, or like because that's against the principles of helping all student athletes try to, to get to school? No, I'm not stunned by anything. <laughs> but um, I, I just I don't think it will pass. It might, it might. You never know. But I don't think it will pass. Yeah. Do you uh, anticipate being asked to give more or giving more to the university this year, or is that remain to be seen? You never know. You have to see what the legislature comes up with here by on June 11th. See how it all shakes out. After that, maybe a decision to make or a question there. Yeah, we'll have to see what kind of shape we're in at that point. Joe, the SEC is looking to significantly raise the, um, the fine amount for rushing the field or rushing the court. Uh, do you think the number that they've thrown out there is that going to be enough to deter people from letting fans get on there? I hope so. I mean, but you know, there's only so much security you can put out there. You know, you, you can't have uh, armed guards and horses out there. <laughs> so I, I hope our fans and all of the fans in the league will realize that it's all about safety. It's all about the safety of players and the fans to, to stay in the stands and hopefully they'll comply with that. If the fine is say a 50 grand or something like that starting point, would that be enough deterrent to make schools do more? I think schools will do more but there's only so much you can do. There's only so much you can do. You can't build a wall around the field. You can't <laughs> Put up barbed wire. You can't have horses and guns out there. So you, there's a there's a line of how much you can do. So has it become educating the fan base to not do it? Is it is that hard to do? It, it's all about education and it's all about safety. But at the spur of the moment, you never know what fans are going to do. If the satellite camps, uh, if you can't get national legislation to coincide with the SEC satellite camp, is there a thought of? maybe expanding the satellite camps in the SEC or changing the SEC's policy? I think, first of all, you shouldn't call them satellite camps. They're recruiting camps, pure and simple. So call them what they are. They're not satellite camps. They're recruiting camps. And um, I think we'll have to see. We'll, if we have to make adjustments, we'll have to make adjustments in the future. But um, I think the, the, the goal here is to get national legislation to, to eliminate them. Aren't all